So welcome to video number 40, which is called Trim and Extend. And this is all part of our editing section. So trimming and extending are very important commands within the editing side of AutoCAD. And uh, we can use both of these uh, in various different ways. So I'm going to show you from this drawing. So if you'd like to open up drawing number 40, trim and extend. So we're going to start with the trim command first. Okay. So when you're ready, we're going to start to type in T-R-I-M, enter. And trim requires us to select a boundary. So I'm going to select this line up here as a boundary first. Okay. Then we're going to press enter. Now we can trim off anything that's the other side of the boundary. Okay, so we can click and you can see that little red cross means that that's the bit that you're going to get rid of. And press enter to finish. So trim's a pretty quick way of uh, taking things out. So we've converted this circle now to a large arc. And we're going to have another go at the trim command, just so you get used to the way in which it works. TR, enter. We're going to select this line as the boundary. And therefore, we can get rid of the drawing underneath the line. So press enter and click on this half circle and this one over here. So you can see, if we press enter, that uh, trim uses a boundary against which it can cut the object. So you always select the boundary first, and uh, then obviously you operate on the object you want to get rid of. So let's have a look at two intersecting circles. We're gonna select this circle as the boundary, and we're gonna take out the internal half circles. So here we go, let's go T-R-I-M, enter, here's the boundary, press enter, and here's the two items that we need to take away, and enter. So it's a pretty simple and straightforward solution, so long as you remember the order that you're working in, okay, trim, enter, boundary, click, and then click onto the uh, object that you want to get rid of. Now I'm going to show you on the left hand side here that you can use trim carefully but also automatically and automatically means that AutoCAD will find boundaries for you. So let's have a go at this one. Let's do TR for trim, that's the short cut version, but then press enter twice to put it into automatic mode. Once you're in automatic mode, AutoCAD will find the boundaries so that you don't have to select a boundary in advance. And I'm using a green crossing window to help me to select the items that I want to delete. So you can see that because we're in automatic mode, we're getting on quite a lot quicker and we're revealing the shapes within the design a lot quicker. Okay. And enter. So if you want to practice that on the right hand side, I'm going to talk you through it. So we're going to start over here. We're going to use automatic trim and we're going to use the shortcut to get there. So TR enter enter and you click or use the green selection window. Okay, to select the items that you want to delete. So if you just follow what I'm doing here and you select on the same items, you can do more than one item at a time. You can put your green crossing window through a number of items and it will take them all out at once. You've just got to be careful about what you do click on because obviously AutoCAD's finding boundaries for you. And let's try an automatic boundary in here. We can select parts of circles and you can see that it can find 
the boundaries for itself. OK, so the trim command is brilliant because it can help you tidy up your drawing really quickly. And because you can use the green crossing window during the selection process, it makes it even faster. Now, what about the opposite of trim? What about extend? Well, extend allows you to use a boundary and then you can extend your lines through other objects to find a boundary. So let's just say over here on the left hand side, we're going to use this object as a boundary. OK. And escape. And we're going to issue the extend command. So you'll notice the shortcut for extend is EX. We'll select this polyline and press enter. Now we just need to select the line that we want to extend and you can see by hovering over it, you can see where it's going to extend to and I can click on that. And I can also get it to extend again by clicking on it again. So I can get it to extend right the way across. Now, once you've done that, press enter to finish and we'll try it on the other side. So over here on the right hand side, EX, enter, and then select your boundary, enter, and click here, and then here. And we've extended it over to the right hand side. Now, what about an automatic extend? What about if we want AutoCAD to work it out for us? OK, so we can have an automatic selection for a boundary uh, with EX Enter Enter. So let's have a look here in the center. We can go EX Enter Enter and using the green crossing window, just run across here. And you can see how AutoCAD immediately finds the boundaries. So it's run across this arc, down this arc, and then up to this arc. And if we want to continue, we can just do these two as well. Let's do it at the bottom. So long as we run across the bottom, okay, it finds the nearest boundary. And of course, it uses this line and then this straight line. So if we want to extend beyond the straight line, we could just put a crossing window over here and it finds the curve. OK, let's do that again on this side and see how it handles the text. OK, run across here and of course it doesn't care for the text at all. It doesn't assume the text is a boundary, just jumps straight past. And then we can just do this bit down here. So automatic boundary finding is absolutely brilliant in AutoCAD. And oops, just click on one too many there. <laughs> so trim, very powerful, extend, very powerful. The manual mode is good for selecting your own boundaries. The automatic mode is great for AutoCAD selecting an appropriate boundary. So let's do a manual boundary first. Again, just to remind you of the way in which it works. So we're going to start with TR Enter. That's the manual version. And we're going to select this polyline and this line. Enter, and we can take out the bit in between. Press Enter to finish. Let's practice that on the other side. Same thing, TR, enter, select the two boundaries, enter, select the item to be deleted, enter. Now let's practice the automatic trim, okay? And this one's really quick and really easy. TR, enter, enter. We can put a green crossing window straight down here and AutoCAD immediately recognizes those boundaries. And we can do the same thing at the bottom, straight down here, 
and you can see the way in which AutoCAD manages to understand what it is that you're trying to do. It finds the nearest boundary. That's its first objective. Okay. Now, if we do an extend, we can do a manual extend and we can do an automatic extend. Let's try the manual first. So EX and we're going to pick up this polyline over here. Press enter and then click onto the item that you wish to extend. And you'll see it jumps over geometry because you've already defined where the boundary is. Okay, enter. Let's do that over this side. EX, enter, select the boundary, enter, and then click onto the line. And you can see it jumps over boundaries. But of course, Automatic doesn't jump a boundary until you've clicked beyond the boundary. Okay, so let's have a look down here. Let's see what happens. We're going to do an automatic extend of this line. And it's going to try and find a point over here. Okay, so EX, enter, enter. And there we go. Can you see it jumping across? And we can find an automatic extend over here. And then we're done.